Good morning world, 8 o'clock, check this awesome view. Yep, today is going to be all about sailing, no engine, just sailed out of the harbor. So this is going to be an awesome day from Anchorage to New Harbor, or actually Bay. Lovely morning. Hey, check it out guys, we just came into the street of Gibraltar. We instantly went from 50 knots till 25, 30. The waves tripled and uh, yeah, we're still having fun. <laughs> yeah, there's the street of Gibraltar or there's Gibraltar. So uh, yeah, that's sailing guys, that's sailing. 25, 30 knots, waves, full reef. Into the wind, check it out. That's different, just around the corner, and it's crazy here. Absolutely crazy. Yeah, and it's crazy. You come around the corner, the wind dies, no waves. You're just taking it easy again. Check that out. The Bay of the Daughter, container ships on anchor. We're sailing into the harbor for about two days, uh, doing some water intake, diesel, and then paying tourists yeah, in Gibraltar. Very curious how it is. Check out these duty-free shops, guys, for the ele electronic freaks like me. Incredible, all cheap prices. Even the alcohol is so cheap here. Drones, GoPros, everything you like it too don't you core <laughs> like cheap yeah yeah this, this for us is like candy stores how cheap are these drinks here in gibraltar you don't pay tax you don't pay uh how do you call it well anyway it's cheap it's just very very cheap it's like one third of the prices in europe like it i'm gonna get myself a bottle of vodka love the shops it's a lot of art it's a lot of drinks and a lot of electronica but check out these masks beautiful the english territory so english sauce. English, english sauce cheers guys we're gonna have an awesome night fish and chips in gibraltar nice hey good morning patrons check out the top of gibraltar it's amazing check this view we're on top we're going to the reservoir and uh, see some monkeys and other bits and pieces and on the right side we got the runway and how crazy is this the runway is actually the border between spain and gibraltar check this out we've got cars crossing the runway and they just close it down whenever there's a plane coming how crazy is that a runway as a border and we can see a little bit of swell in the background that should be surfable but we're off to morocco tomorrow guys i'm on top of gibraltar check that out amazing view i have monkeys i've got the harbor in the background check that out the environment is amazing Top of Gibraltar, the bunkers are here. There was a 14 year siege here, incredible. Monkeys, unbelievable place, loving it. Yeah, so I can only recommend this place. If you've never been to Gibraltar, put it on your to-do list, because it's amazing. Check out these ferries, they are so fast. Incredible, they're doing over 25 knots, so you can easily wakeboard behind them. That's some force. That is power. You don't want to have that one crossing 50 meters behind you. <laughs> Do you, Cor? Over 10, 25 knots. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, 
we are having a big container ship crossing our lane so how to find out will it hit us will it pass us on the stern or up front so what do I do I'm gonna keep my camera still I'm gonna put my uh, little pole a little bit in front and I'm holding it still it means if the pole is getting further away from the boat he's passing us on the back if the pole is getting closer to the container ship he's gonna go in front of us if it's not changing we are in a direct hit so as you can see it's slowly getting towards the pole so it's but it's very slowly getting towards the pole so it will pass us in the front and I'll guessing about a hundred and fifty meters uh, by its speed but you can see in the waves it's going to pass us or it's getting in front of the pole so uh, yeah we're in the clear he's gonna go up front but uh, if you're not taking a accurate point on land or on your boat then uh, yeah you will never know but uh, yeah it's gonna go up front that's the way to do it as you can see it's passing us nice and clear on the front easy peasy and you can see it from about yeah, 10 miles coming already so that's about 18 kilometers ah doing over six and a half knots we're in front of the wind Kurt is having a little power nap on the deck and check this view enjoying the last sun <laughs> Oh, this is the life, isn't it, Cor? Best life. Check that out, guys. Oh, oh Scully Jin. Sorry, I need to take down your flag because the Marines in Morocco, they don't like it. They saw the flag and they gave us a lot of shit. What's the flag? Why is the flag? Because, uh, yeah. Your flag is bigger than the Moroccan flag and I think they had a little problem with that one. So, sorry, gotta take it down because I need a sleep, I need a shower. So I wanna get into the next harbor. <laughs> oh, traveling, sometimes it's just crazy. Okay, we sailed all through the night. We're almost at the Mohamedia Harbor. Core doing a little power nap. Somebody is tired. Good morning. We've just been asked by the pilot boat to wait in the corner here. So there's probably going to be a very big boat coming. So we're in the harbor of Mohamedia and uh, we need to wait. And uh, yeah, so wait for a sec, see what's going on. And then hopefully we can in enter this one. Yep. Check that out, there it is. That's a huge container ship. Well, if he is able to get in, or out we are able to get in so uh, but check how big these guys are that's huge but on the map you don't even see that this harbor is that big but pff, that's 27, I think that's yeah that's a six story building that is huge are you impressed, Cor? Yeah, it's, oh, it's not that big, but it's big enough for, for us. It's big enough to be hit by it, we yeah. sink. <laughs> oh. And they expect, and they expect that this, that this little harbor. Yeah, that's what I just said. Didn't expect this one to be able to get in here. <laughs> toot toot! Toot toot! Oh, look at that guy! Check it out, just removed a piece of silicon kit because it was leaking the last time it rained. So I'm gonna fill that up. I already filled it up outside. Look. See, new kit. So that should be done. And now uh, the inside, because we're gonna have some rain tonight and tomorrow. So uh, hopefully I'm dry. 
So after taking some diesel in the Mall Media, we went here to El Yadida, but now we need to go away because there's 50, 60 knots winds coming and they do not want to be responsible for us if something happens. So they're kicking us out to the harbor because a storm is coming. You see this face? That's not my happy face. I just paid 50 euros for a day and a half to stay here and we're gonna be kicked out uh, because it's not safe to be uh, anchorage here. Check this out. This is a marina that you pay 25 euros for one night. Check it out. It's cold water. They don't have warm showers because it's broken. You just have the toilets right next to the showers. Man, 25 euros for a night because we had the shelter for the storm. I am not happy. We need to run to the next marina because they don't want us here. I paid 50 euros for a night and five hours. It's just a ripoff. It's just a ripoff, guys. I can only say avoid the harbor of El Yadida. There's not a friendly person in the harbor. Uh, yeah, I'm always stoked. I'm always positive, but El Yadida just sucks. Okay, just getting out of El Yadida, but oh my god, check this swell, guys. Yeah, so uh, getting past the swell and then uh, taking the sails out. So yes, on our way to Jorf Las Far, an industrial harbor where we probably need to stay for a week because yeah, there's 60 uh, knots winds coming. So uh, yeah, on our way guys, check you guys in the next episode.